Hi friends, how are you doing? This is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. But sometimes when I teach, I also get confused. And once I was confused because my student asked me a question, what is it better to say? Man ir dusmas uz manu sievu or Man ir dusmas uz savu sievu. These both sentences can be translated as I am angry with my wife. And I was not sure whether to use the possessive pronoun manu or the unique possessive pronoun that we have in Latvian but we don't have the equivalent of in English savu. So I posted this question to my personal Facebook profile asking to other Latvians what they think, which version would be better. And the funny thing was that I got answers where people voted for Manu and where people voted for Savu and we could see how Latvians are not sure which word is better for this situation. And then my former classmate and a journalist Eva answered that we don't really need any of those words because in Latvian we can imply my. The thing is that if you can guess what wife it is and we can safely guess that the person is talking about his own wife, then we don't need the word that in English translates as my. And when I read it, I was like, right, that's it. We don't need to use any. But the interesting part of it is that many, many people continued answering either naming Manu or Savu. So we see how the English language as well as the German language influence Latvian. But now I'll tell you about another funny thing and I'll actually read another joke from this book that I have mentioned. And this is a joke that hasn't been made up. This is a sentence that was taken from a student's essay and it goes like this Bibliotekā ienāca zēms un meitene Viņi bija brāļi It translates like this A boy and a girl entered the library They were brothers But if you think that this is funny it's nothing compared to what I'm going to show you. This is also a real thing that happened during the Song and Dance Festival of 2018. Specifically, at the beginning of the Grand Dance performance named Mara's Zeme, the land of Mara. I'll play you a little fragment from it. Pēters bija tevs mežotnēja, mežotnē miķeli un miķelis nirzā, nirzā agri. I stopped the video in order to explain what seemed funny to me here. In the first line you see a full thought. Pēteris was the father to mežotnē. But in the second line there is a dash in the Latvian sentence that is supposed to replace a part of the previous line and you would think that those words that are being replaced are was the father. However, Mežotne is a female. In the third line, Michelis could be a father to Nirza because Michelis is a male name. However, Nirza is a female name, so she could be mother to Agris. And of course, that's what they mean here, but it sounds funny to me when it is expressed this way. You'll see similar patterns in the following video fragments. Let's watch. Agris bitaus pededze, pededze raunai. Rauna vi mate mikum, mikus kristapam. Kristaps bija tēvs Siguldē, Sigulda Uģim. Uģis bija tēvs Trikātai, Trikāta Usmai. I am showing this to you in order to encourage you to not be shy to speak Latvian. 
even with errors. Just speak. Because we Latvians are not always correct either, we also make mistakes. Speaking with errors is the way of learning to speak correctly. So my conclusion is, let's not take ourselves too seriously. And in this regard, I'd like to repeat a quote that I heard in my yoga class from my yoga teacher. The failure is not the opposite of the success, it's the part of it. I'd like to leave you with this thought and I'd like to remind you that I have two courses where I teach Latvian for English speakers. One is sounds and writing and the other one is Latvian for English speakers. You can learn more about them by visiting my website. But now I'll say ata, bye bye, till the next time.